tough matchup. What were some of your experiences in these type of games, Brent? Well, I spent a lot of time in the Western Conference, BA. Obviously, a bunch of good rivalries, but back then, you usually had to go through the Lakers to get where you wanted to be. Let's take a look at our starters for Denver. Manning the backcourt, it's Murray and KCP. Gordon and Jokic, the combo inside. And it's Porter in at the small forward position. And so Porter will bring it up for the Denver Nuggets. Murray with it. Jokic with a screen on Gobert. Pass to Jokic. Up and over Conley. And it's Jokic. That time on the assist by Murray. And Murray with an instinctual play there. He has that ability. You can see the play. It evolves. And then he makes a quick decision. Off target at the rim. Conley against Caldwell Pope. And here's Porter. Murray passes to Jokic. Outside, Caldwell Pope. On target from range. Well, Caldwell Pope at the ready. He was totally prepared to take that one. Conley against Murray. Gobert passes to Edwards. Murray against Conley. Pass to Reed. Clock at four. From downtown. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. Oh, you got to love the back and forth. Showing real confidence at the arc. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. Well, it's one thing to play good defense, but then to alter the shot and get the rebound, that's a good day's work. Pass to Conley. It's McDaniels on the wing. He's guarded by Porter. Reed for three. And another three for Minnesota. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. For Denver, they've gone two of three from the floor. Murray for three. And another three for Denver. Anything you can do, I can do better. <laughs> that one felt a little personal right there. Yeah, again, you can't take this too far to make it too selfish, but that exchange, that's fun to watch. Now here's Edwards. Playing Utah, he was nearly unstoppable. Back to Conley. Pass to McDaniels. Up and over Porter. And again, it's Minnesota converting. The Nuggets have gone three of four, off to a nice start. When you discuss the Minnesota Timberwolves, what would you say about their front office, Grant? Well, B.A., they want to be as competitive as possible. Whether it's who they are drafting, trading for, or signing in free agency, this team's goal is to be taken seriously out west. Minnesota has gone two for three from outside the arc. Edwards looking for an opening. Pass to Gobert. Back to Edwards. Read the screen on Caldwell Pope. Edwards can't hit. Well, that's just enough defensive pressure on him to throw off that shot. I bet he gets a, a good look at it next time and hits it. The crossover. McDaniel. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. Honestly, I don't know how he pulled that off. Free throw, no good. And you think about beautiful basketball, Brent. Look no further than these Denver Nuggets. No doubt about it, B.A. It's like a symphony out there with this ball club. Just the ball movement, the player movement, the guy's willingness to sacrifice the first shot to get the better shot. And Jokic is the conductor. Now here's Conley. Yet to see a basket. And Edwards slams it in. Wow. Edwards with the hops, the long arms. Easy guy to hit in the alley-oop game. Outside, Caldwell Pope. Pass 
to Gordon. Shot clock at three. Murray for three. The rebound by the Timberwolves. They defeated Utah in their last game. And guys, those road games are never easy. But they had a solid strategy going in and stuck to what they do best. They're watching that game quarter to quarter. They sped up, they slowed down, but they executed in every facet. Now here's Caldwell Pope. He's coming off a 10-point game against Dallas. The other part of his game was the outstanding D. Shot blocking is a huge momentum shifter, and his two blocks really turned the game in their team's favor. Yeah, and the defense really respects his shooting ability, and they showed it with that tight coverage. Reed to screen on Murray. Pass to Reed from the arc. Yes, great play by Conley to set it up. Conley's got his fourth assist with that last one. Denver has gone three for five from deep so far in this matchup. Up top, Caldwell Pope, guarded by Edwards. Murray, a screen on Edwards. Here's Murray. Jokic with it, defended by Gobert. Clock at six. Here's Murray. Again, missed by Murray. Is it getting cold in here? This is, this is a tough one. Crucial that he starts to work a little harder for a higher percentage shot. Reed to screen on Caldwell Pope. And here's Edwards outside. He buries it from three. Edwards got his second bucket of the night. Wow. Some strong perimeter shooting here in the first quarter. Jokic with a screen on Conley. Here's Caldwell Pope. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Caldwell Pope's got nine. Retaliation triple from KCP. Conley looking for an opening. To the middle. Gobert with the basket on the assist by Conley. The big story thus far, how well they've shot the rock. And it's Murray with the ball for Denver. They trail by six. Caldwell Pope, a screen on Conley. Murray, shot is good. Five points in the game. That's about all the defense can do. Murray has the ability still to hit tough shots. Conley against Murray. Reed sets a screen. Here's Conley. Caldwell Pope pulls it in. Denver has gone four of six from deep to start this game. Now here's Murray. 23 points for him last game against Dallas. And piling up the points at the line. He was in attack mode all night. Now here's Murray. Jokic with a screen on Edwards. Murray, no good. That's his shot. And one, I'm sure, he wants back. And Edwards slams it in. And the lead increases on a crazy offensive sequence. Man, the dunk alone would have been incredible, let alone the fact that it came off a pinpoint pass. Here's Murray. He's got five. Stolen by Cogley. Here's the break. Over Murray. And Minnesota again with a bucket. They've now had assists on each of their last three buckets. The Nuggets trail. And here's Murray. Taking command on offense when they need it. Putting up 21 a game. And it's Jokic missing. I know it's about defending the post and the three-point line these days, but still got to be active in the mid-range area. And the defense gets away with one there. Now here's Edwards. He has seven. And the basket by Gobert. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. The Nuggets have gone 6 of 13 so far in this one. Well, Grant, something could go bare as just a defensive special. He's proven to be more than that. Yeah, B.A., I like how Moody uses his height to his advantage inside. Focuses on taking high percentage shots that come to him naturally. Not going to intimidate Jokic at that range. His focus tonight, razor sharp. Edwards against Caldwell Pope. Edwards, a pass to McDaniels. Fires from the wing. That one rolls around and rims out. For Denver, they've gone 7 of 14 and looking in control. Murray finds Jokic. 
Outside Murray. Pass to Jokic. Shot clock at six. And down it goes. Two points. Jokic has got his third basket on the night right there. Well, that basket must be widening out right now. And he's making almost every shot he's putting up this quarter. And Minnesota calls time here. Anderson's checked in for Minnesota. Alexander Walker comes in for Edwards. And the Nuggets will go for a different look here. Najee, he's checked in for Jokic. Watson comes in for Gordon. Brown's checked in for Michael Porter. And it's Jackson in for Caldwell Pope. Minnesota in the lead. Outside Conley. Pass to Gobert. Here's Conley. Defended by Murray. Gobert inside. Working on Najee. And he gets it to go. Gobert's got six. At his size, at that range, Gobert's shot is pretty much impossible to alter. The defender did what he could do. Watson hitting Gobert with a rebound. Gobert's got rebound number five here tonight. Here's Alexander Walker, defended by Jackson. Some changes for Minnesota. Anthony Edwards has checked in for Reed. And it's McLaughlin in for Mike Conley. Here's Edwards. Seven points in the game. It's hauled in by Nikola Jokic. Man, I thought he was making that in so close. That's some aggressive defense. Jackson, pass to Jokic. Over Gobert. Jokic, no good. Well, maybe not the best shot against that kind of defense, but he still has the ability to knock that kind of shot down. Edwards for three. Rebound by the Nuggets. Jokic has got his sixth rebound on the night. Now, even if you're not shooting it, you like to see the effort level. And his tonight has been high. Over to the left wing. Wait, wait a minute, Jokic has got some vertical too? Wow. On the AT&T 5G slam cam, good looks by our terrific camera crew. Fifty-nine seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Here's Alexander Walker. He's coming off a 13-point game against the Jazz in Salt Lake City. He also had two blocks that really impacted that game, guys. He really made his presence known. I just think that's trouble. You're going you're gonna to let that guy shoot layups. You're asking for it. Pass to Jokic. To the left side wing. Fires from deep. A shot by Brown. No good. Minnesota's gone four of seven from three-point range here in the first. Seven-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Alexander Walker. No good with a layup. I don't think the defense does enough out there to bother him. I think that one's all on him. Just a flat-out miss. Here's Brown. Here's Watson. Off target with the three. To the inside. Anderson. And finished off by Anderson. They've shown so much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played harder. You know who that was. And as we conclude the first quarter, a one-sided game so far. The T-Wolves on top, leading by 10. Quarter number two coming up right after this break. Don't go anywhere.
And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but plenty of time left for a comeback. All right, let's quickly break down the game, what we've seen so far from the Timberwolves, guys. Oh, what I love was that first quarter was all about leaking out and capitalizing in transition. It felt like they knew that there were openings in transition and just wanted to keep trying to feed that, get out quick. And here's Jackson. He'll bring it up for the Denver Nuggets. It's a 10-point game. You know, last game, they matched up with the Mavs. A tough loss there. There was just no sense of urgency to hit the offensive glass. They have to be disappointed in the lack of second-chance points. Yeah, they were like good college players, one and done. you got to be able to make some noise on the offensive glass and keep possessions alive. They weren't able to do that. Kyle Anderson is out there with Akil Alexander-Walker. Then it's Jordan McLaughlin. Then it's T.J. Warren. And it's Edwards in at the two spot. So that's the Timberwolves five. Jackson, pass to Jokic. Over Anderson. And it's Jokic. That time on the assist from Jackson. Jokic has got ten. Jokic's dangerous there. Makes him tough to defend when he's knocking down mid-range shots. Now here's Edwards. He's covered closely. The shot from the low post is good. He's got nine. Oh, what a great option he gives them on every possession. Pass to Jokic. Joker dominating inside. Great focus from Jokic. Tough to throw off balance. Minnesota's gone four of eight from three. A nice percentage. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. After their big trade with Rudy Gobert, it's taken a while for the Wolves to gel. Gobert said, quote, it just comes with the time and trust. Basketball is never perfect, but we can punish all kinds of defenses by making the right play and finding the open man. With that mindset, we are going to keep getting better. I'm confident in our abilities. Brian? Well, that, that's the way you have to look at it, Allie. Thank you. Throw good, Edwards. Brad, you had a terrific mid-range game. It feels like more players are going back to that now. Yeah, you know, it's interesting, B.A. The analytics say dunks and three-pointers, but that makes your offense almost just two-dimensional. In many cases, too predictable. You're seeing more and more players, particularly the elite ones, finding comfort in the mid-range. And both free throws good for Edwards. He's making the most of every trip to the line, providing for his team. Jackson outside. With the drive. And the rebound by the Timberwolves. They've led by as much as 10. Pass to Alexander Walker. Outside Edwards. Shakes him. Oh, a rim rattling two-handed jam. Oh my. Edwards looking to demoralize the defense a little with that one. Out left to the wing. Up a three. Brown's shot is good. Brown's got his second bucket on the night. Shut out from beyond the arc in the first quarter. He's now got two for the game. Pass to Miller. Here's Alexander Walker. Knocks down the long J. Alexander Walker's got five points. These teams are finding the range, showing a lot of confidence. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. Jokic passes to Brown. Jokic in the post. Oh, what a slam from the big man, Jokic. And I know Jokic doesn't have the quickest feet or the most hops, but just outstanding at reading where a missed shot might land. McLaughlin pass to Miller. Outside Edwards. Takes the three. Jokic grabs the board. He came out today planning to do as much damage from three-point range as possible. Well, it looks like it's time to change up the plan, guys. Let's it go from the wing. And it's Denver with another. Yeah, credit to Reggie that time making the right play call. The pick and roll gets him everything he wanted. And here in the second quarter of action, as
as we approach four minutes played. Here's Alexander Walker. Shots blocked. Here's Brown. He's coming off a 10-point game against Dallas. Jokic finds Jackson. The three is up. And another three for Denver. And Jackson showing off a little bit of his range that time. So confident in that release. Well, Brent, the past several years have been the brightest in Nuggets history. And it makes perfect sense. I mean, B.A., you go out and you find a, a player that elevates everybody else. A guy who becomes the two-time MVP. The talent on the roster has taken strides. They've done a great job in the draft process. It's great to see Denver becoming a legitimate powerhouse in the Western Conference. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Timberwolves. In the early goings, their effort level has been exceptional. The speeding around the defense and opening up options with good penetration. I wonder if pace and playing fast is something that they're being encouraged to do because right now they feel like the faster team. And that one misses. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the boards. Pass to Jackson. Now here's Jokic. Kicks it out to Jackson. Up and over Conley. And it's Gobert with a rebound. Gobert's got rebound number eight now. And here's Conley. Gobert passes to Conley. It's McDaniels on the wing. Defended by Gordon. Just five to shoot. Pass to Edwards. Takes a three. Rebound by the Nuggets. Jokic has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Caldwell Pope. The pass to Jackson. And here's Jokic. Defended by Gobert. Jackson can't get it to go. Minnesota's got five of 11 threes to drop so far in this game. Conley passes to Edwards. Jackson against Conley. Ooh, excellent D there from Jackson. And here's Jackson. He'll bring it up for the Nuggets. Pass to Jokic. The shake. Kicks it out to Jackson. Three-pointer. The shot is good on the assist by Jokic. Jackson's got eight. Lackluster defense, showing no desire to chase shooters off that line. Minnesota has gone one of four from three-point land here in the second. Edwards against Caldwell Pope. Outside McDaniels. Three-pointer. Rebound by the Nuggets. Jokic has got rebound number 11. Pass to Jackson. Conley against Jokic. Here's Brown. The three. And the Nuggets hit again from deep. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Conley against Jackson. Gobert with a screen on Jackson to the paint. The kick out to Conley. Outside Edwards. This one for three. Brown grabs the board. Denver in the lead. Jackson for three. Edwards pulls it in. Pass to Conley. Back to Edwards. And Edwards slams it in. One of the league's better floor generals. Really over the last decade, Conley plays with an old-school pass-first mindset. Conley against Jackson. Now here's Jokic. Jackson outside. Pass to Jokic. Here's Brown. It's Jokic, high post. And here's Jackson from behind the arc. Can't hit there. Now three for nine. Well, D really getting away with one there. No one on him. And that's going to be good nine out of ten times. The three, Conley. Fires in the triple. And now a three-point Minnesota lead. <laughs> a savvy playmaker with a great handle. Conley runs such a smooth pick and roll. Time called here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over.
Reed's checked in for Edwards. And the Nuggets making a change here. And let's look in on the real stats, real scores from the real NBA. These are the teams leading the way in assists this season. The Nuggets third. The assist numbers they're posting as a squad is a real testament to how willing they are to rely on each other. There's a lot of trust amongst these guys. Here's Caldwell Pope. Nine points in the game. Najee sets a screen. Launches it. And Caldwell Pope gets it to go. Caldwell Pope's got 12. <laughs> Just incredible. I mean, he's really making it rain out there. Knocking them down one after another. Kind of like he's in his living room right now. He's still in the comfort zone. Once he gets that, the defense knows they're in trouble. Pass to Reed. Just four to shoot. Jacks up a three. And another three from Minnesota. Oh, man, this would be a different ball game if they didn't have this type of scoring to rely on. Murray against Conley. Down low. Here's Gordon. And the layup is good. Gordon's got his first two points. the defense you, you live with that shot but Aaron Gordon sometimes can make a difficult shot read the screen on Caldwell Pope Alexander Walker the pass to Reed shoots from 14 and another basket for Minnesota well looking into the gaps of the defense there he's not going to miss many of those when he gets to that range pass to Najee Back to Murray. Outside, Caldwell Pope. Count it. Managing to pull that shot out just as time expired. MPJ with some nice patience. The Timberwolves have gone 8 of 15 in the second. And what's unique about Michael Porter Jr., it's almost impossible to block his jumper. Yeah, at 6 foot 10, Grant, he's got that high release point. How are you going to close out and do anything? to disrupt this guy in his shooting window. Nearly impossible in the lead offensive shooter. Murray passes to Najee. Back to Murray. Up and over Conley. Here's Caldwell Pope. Oh, he misses the go-ahead basket. Minnesota has gone 7 of 15 from distance in this game. McDaniels finds Conley. Now Gobert. Here's Alexander Walker. Pass to Conley. There's the three. Gobert. Oh, Gobert cleans it up. Wow. Yeah, just what they needed from Gobert. Grabbing the rebound with those long arms and sending it back. Murray passes to Gordon. Here's Najee. Defended by Gobert. Gordon outside. Cross is over. Rebound Minnesota. They've led by as much as 10. Looking ahead, they've got the Cavaliers coming to town for their next one. And that'll be their second of four total games at home. Pass to Reed. Inside. Here's Gobert. The Frenchman. Gobert. Nice balance from Gobert. Not allowing the defense to overwhelm him. Scanning the floor. Over Conley. Murray shot is good. Murray's got seven. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Here's Reed. Second chance effort. And he lays it in. 11 points in the game. Just owning the offensive glass right now. Just refusing to let up. Well, we saw this same kind of attack in the last game. Ferocious effort in back-to-back -back outings. Yep, count it. What touch. 
such a solid part of Murray's game. Now Conley. From deep three-point range. Oh, oh, what a play! Oh, it's good! good. Oh, it's are you good. kidding me? Wow. Whoa! The heave to beat the buzzer. Woo. That's an incredible shot there. Just let it fly, take a chance, and somehow that one goes in. And that'll do it for the first half of play. The T-Wolves on top, up six. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. Thanks for stopping by, y'all. First up on the show tonight, a quick look ahead of some upcoming games on the docket. And any of these matchups you're most looking forward to, Shaq? You know, I don't want to pick favorites, then the other teams are going to fill. And talking about our game, Rudy Gobert has been dominant in that first half. Man, I just love his attitude that's always up there and always just great. He's mixing it up down there, really taking it to the defense. He's got a few moves he can go in there. It's hard to slow him down once he's cooking. Thanks, as always, for watching. Let's head back to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the second half. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Boy, you gotta like what we're seeing from Anthony Edwards. His whole first half looked like a highlight reel, rising up and just owning the rim. Yeah, the defense has gotta be a little bit embarrassed. There is no reason why he should just be on top of that rim. On the court for the Nuggets, and the forward spots, Porter Jr. and Gordon. Manning the backcourt, it's Murray and KCP. And it's Jokic in at the center, blocking down the middle. And the concentration from Jokic, spectacular, just shrugging off that contact. Conley against Murray. Conley passes to Edwards. And no good. Excellent D there from Caldwell Pope. The Nuggets trail. And he's going for the oop here. It's a textbook alley -oop. I thought he'd go for the slam, but that worked. About a minute played here in the second half. Conley against Murray. Now here's Conley. Tight defense on him. From outside the arc. Gordon pulls it in. Practically a block. Good, strong challenge. Yeah, altering the shot just as long as there's a miss. That kind of energy not wasted. Jokic finds Porter. Now here's Gordon. Outside Murray. For the lead. Sinks that one. Now shooting 5 of 10 and looking sharp. Good job reading the floor. Aaron Gordon solid at sensing when someone's open. Conley against Murray. Conley passes to Reed. Up and over Gordon. The Timberwolves again can't hit. Not been an easy start. Three straight misses here on these possessions. Back to Jokic. Pass to Caldwell Pope. The putback controls the rebound and the putback. And now a three-point Denver lead. And I think Jokic has decided, I'm going to take over this game scoring-wise. I don't know how you say that in Serbian, but trust me. All right, let's get a report from Ali. Anthony Edwards carries a swagger about him. He said, quote, I am the most confident person in the world. I've always felt like I'm the best at everything I did. Coach Finch said, quote, he is super confident. He's real and he's genuine. A lot of guys have a confidence that hides in insecurity. He is not that. He knows who he is as a person and as a player. Brian? Yeah, great point. Thank you, Ali. Conley against Murray. Out to the right wing. Here's Jokic. Jokic using his strength inside. 
And why go away from attacking inside if the D has no answer for you? And it's Edwards with the ball for Minnesota. Read the screen on Caldwell Pope. Here's Edwards. Excellent D there from Caldwell Pope. Team starts the second half missing four of five shots. When does the coach possibly call a timeout and reiterate what he talked about at halftime? Clock at six. And a foul call on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It's going to be on Nas Reed. How about KCP, the guard getting in there, being active down low and forcing the defense's hand? First one. Well, Brent, everyone has a three-point shot now, but Caldwell Pope is a true sharpshooter. Yeah, this guy can really get the job done from the three-point line, and coaches appreciate the stability that he brings to them on the defensive end. What a great plug-and-play two-guard in the NBA. And that's good as he hits both shots. You know, in the days of load management, we typically stay away from the talk of durability, but Caldwell Pope rarely misses games, stays in great shape. I feel like he's good to go. And out of bounds, Denver will have it. And how about we check the numbers for Anthony Edwards? Here's Murray, and it's the Nuggets ball. This run now up to 13-2. Pass to Jokic. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, yo. Tries the nine-footer, and it's off the back of the rim. No good. Uh, Mr. Bunny, those are the shots you've got to convert. Conley with the ball. Give him eight points now. And here's Edwards outside. That one's good. And it's Conley who picks up the assist. Conley's got assist number eight now on the night. And here are the Nuggets. They're on a 13-5 run. Gordon with a screen on Conley. Pass to Jokic. Murray from outside. And it's Gobert with a rebound. Gobert's the Timberwolves trail. Outside Conley. Reed with it. Draw the foul. We'll head to the line for two. It goes on Aaron Gordon. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Nuggets. Their offensive game plan has been simple. Look to shoot it often from outside the arc. And the results have been outstanding. We probably have to touch on as well that tonight their penetration has been awesome. I mean, they put force on this game, attacking off the bounce. And the willingness to do that has paid off. He makes it first. That one drops. He ties it up. To have a big who's great at the line, such a plus. Denver's gone one of four here in the third from range. Outside, Caldwell Pope. Quarter a screen. Puts it up from 12. And it's Gobert with a rebound. Gobert's got rebound number 15 here tonight. Using the size. Gobert. Guys, he can't miss. I swear, he was trying to miss that. He did not miss. That means he can't miss. Time out, time out. Time out the Nuggets. Boy, you gotta like what we're seeing from Anthony Edwards. You gotta be using this timeout to think about a personnel change or a game plan change to try to slow him down.
Jackson. He's checked in for Porter Jr. Late into the season, let's check out the standings in the West. Taking a look at Denver, with the playoffs fast approaching, they are well positioned at second place in the conference. And of course, there's Minnesota. They're tied right now. Seeing where the Timberwolves are, they've been relentless competitors all season long. They've assured themselves of a lot of home games in the postseason, and we'll see if they can capitalize. Here's Jokic. And Gobert with a block. Well, Rudy loves a racing shot. Every chance he gets, he'll take a swipe at you. Here's Edwards. Rebound by the Nuggets. Jokic has got 15 rebounds here tonight. Pass to Jackson. Jokic against Edwards. Jokic passes to Murray. Outside, Caldwell Pope. Yes! And a nice assist from Jackson. Jackson's got his third assist of the night. They got to stay connected to Caldwell Pope. He's a knockdown shooter, and he can get it going. Jackson against Edwards. Yes, it's good. Edwards got five points now this quarter. And it's amazing. Neither team has been able to hold the lead for any length of time. Yeah, these guys are leaving it all on the floor tonight. Gilkish. Jokic. Impressive one-hand slam right there, B.A. Man, as long as he's confident about it, I'm good with it. Maybe use two hands next time. He knows where he is. Conley against Murray. Reed is screen on Murray. For three, Conley. Rebound by the Nuggets. Well, that's not a shot he's ever going to pass up, and he shouldn't. Despite the miss, no defender anywhere near him. He's got to shoot that one. Ooh, look at Joker with the D all over him. This quarter belongs to him, and that's how you do it when you're out in front. Don't play it safe. Keep that momentum going. Outside Edwards. Got it. Good job in the low post. Edwards has got 22. And the offensive firepower Edwards is capable of is special. I mean, we are seeing it on full display right now. Jokic passes to Jackson. Back to Jokic. Ooh, great D that time from Gobert. Pass to Edwards. The three ball. Here's Gobert. Let's the three fly. Three can't hit. And so Murray will bring it up for Denver. They lead by one. Outside, Caldwell Pope. Pass to Gordon. Here's Murray. Six to shoot. Here's Jokic. Another shot. It's blocked by Gobert. Now here's Edwards. 22 points for him. Fires for three. Nikola Jokic grabs the miss. Denver has gone two for five from three since halftime. Murray finds Jackson. Back to Murray for three. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Here's McDaniels. He's got six. For the lead. Gobert. That's good. Gobert's got 16 points now. At the offensive end, Gobert isn't always this aggressive, so it's really good to see. Gordon with a screen on Edwards. Jackson pass to Gordon. Jackson outside. Pass to Gordon. Up and over Conley. And there's Murray. That one's good. And the assist by Gordon. Murray's got five points now this quarter. The Timberwolves have gotten six of 14 shots to drop in this third quarter. And Minnesota calls time here. You look at Nikola Jokic. What a contribution. 
And they simply have no answer right now for what he's doing to them. He is making them pay. Some changes for Minnesota. Anderson's checked in for McDaniels. Alexander Walker comes in for Edwards. And it's McLaughlin in for Mike Conley. Here's McLaughlin, defended by Murray. They get the rebound. Anderson for three. Here's Gobert. Oh, the tower with the power move. Monster down low. I mean, Gobert says, forget your contact and give me the bucket. Left side, Murray. Here's Najee. And they get it back. Outside, Murray. Watson passes to Brown. Drains the triple. Brown's got 12 points. These teams just keep trading the lead. <laughs> yeah, you wonder what it's going to take for someone to pull away. And the one thing about Jamal Murray, Brent, you know he's not afraid of the big moments. Nah, and it felt really good just as a basketball fan, B.A., to see Jamal Murray return to those big moment kind of plays that we got used to while the teams were in the bubble. Certainly a rising star and a guy that gets dangerous the bigger the game gets. These teams are finding the range, showing a lot of confidence. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now it's a shootout. Drops in the three. Murray's got eight here in this quarter. you got to be aware of Murray there. You just know he's aiming to get payback with a triple. Here's Alexander Walker, defended by Jackson. The shot by Alexander Walker, no good. Probably not the shot that was drawn up for that position, but you can't pass it up, and you can't knock it down. Outside Murray. It's blocked by Gobert. Outside Anderson. Pass to Gobert. Here's McLaughlin, beyond the arc, and out of bounds. Denver will have it. That's, that's tough, because that one's preventable. The defense has nothing to do at all with that turnover. Denver has got four of eight attempts to fall from deep here in the third quarter. Outside Murray. Let's go with a three. The shot won't fall. It's been all about Nikola Jokic for the Nuggets. And that quarter was all about him. Leading the comeback charge. Now they're up in this one. And don't go far. We'll be right back.
All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. You have to love his unselfishness and ability to make those around him better. Great hands, great vision. That makes great things happen for your offense. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. They've got Kyle Anderson, Jordan McLaughlin out there with Anthony Edwards. Then it's Nikhil Alexander-Walker, and it's Minot in at the five, roaming the paint. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. There are only a few players in the league who can hit a teammate like that in stride. Beautiful assist. Jackson surveying the D to the inside. And there's Murray. That one's good. And the assist by Jackson. Jackson's got five assists in the game. Jackson against Edwards. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. And we've seen Edwards grow a lot in the past few years. He has a great understanding of how to put defenders in tough spots. Shoot two. one falls and looking at Edwards the offensive skills he has are impressive now he must focus on improving his defense and the Timberwolves making a change here Warren's checked in and both free throws good for Edwards and here's Denver to the middle Here's Murray. Count the basket and the foul. That one on Anderson. Jamal Murray is such a natural scorer. And right now, getting in and finishing on a physical play like that one. to his own as a player capable of shouldering the offensive load and being a leader for his team at times. Here's Edwards. Drops in the layup for two. Edwards got 26 points. Smart play call to get him something at the rim. Well, taking advantage of that opportunity, it does not get any more high percentage than that one. And there's the screen. Murray inside. Jackson outside. Three-pointer off the mark. Trying to close out. You've got to know who's hot and who's not. McLaughlin pass to Warren. Now here's Edwards to take the lead. The rebound by Murray. Pass to Jackson. Jokic passes to Jackson. There's the triple. Sinks the tray. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. Yeah, pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. Here's Edwards. From 10 feet away. Strother grabs a miss. to Brown. Jackson outside. Here's Strawler. Down low. Tipped. 
Well, TJ improving his awareness on defense is something that coaches are looking for. Nice block there. Alexander Walker, the pass to McLaughlin. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Edwards. 4-3. Hits the trifecta. Edwards has got seven now in this quarter. His third triple of the game. A little more success from out there in the second half. Here's Brown. Jackson outside. The Nuggets need to get one up. Jokic. Anderson pulls it down. Minnesota's going one of two from deep in this quarter. Here's McLaughlin. Outside, Anderson. Warren against Jokic. They get it again. And he's easily led the way on the boards tonight. Well, he's been everywhere and collecting those rebounds. That ends any kind of offensive possession and gets them started. There's a touch of artistry to the floater. Takes feel as much as skill. Here's McLaughlin, defended by Jackson. Pass to Alexander Walker, to the paint. Here's Anderson. And the layup is good off the glass. Well, capable on the interior to score so long. Slow-mo, Anderson not going to pass up a look like that. Jackson gets the bucket, and the Nuggets lead by three. This is when your interior D has to be on high alert. Here's Edwards. The 15-footer is good. Edwards got 31. And really, that's not one of Edwards' spots, but nice to see him believe in his abilities to get the shot. Jackson, pass to Jokic. Jokic, the bump in the bucket. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. Here's McLaughlin. Pass to Alexander Walker. Outside Edwards. To the left wing. They set the screen. Here's McLaughlin. Brown grabs the board. Brown's got five rebounds in the game. Here's Watson. Jackson outside. Here's Jokic. The big man, Jokic. They have no answer defensively inside. The Timberwolves have gotten five shots out of nine to go in this fourth. Outside, Anderson. Pass to Warren. Shoot from the elbow. And he knocks the jumper down. Uh, give Warren a blanket right now. That's his comfort zone. He's snuggling up there. Jackson outside. Here's Jokic. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Jokic has got 30. Man, that's now 10 straight Sorry. points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense, man. Minnesota calls timeout. And this late game timeout, getting a breather here. Important for the players to recharge. This is where you have a chance to get rehydrated with some Gatorade. And the Timberwolves will go for a different look here. Rudy Gobert is checked in for Warren. Reed comes in for Anderson. McDaniels is checked in for Alexander Walker. And Conley subbed in for McLaughlin. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. Over that last break, I got a chance to hear what Chris Finch said to the team. He applauded their shooting and their shot selection, saying, we're taking the right threes, not forcing anything. Keep doing that, and they'll continue to fall. Makes the game easy, doesn't it? All right, appreciate it, Allie. Murray against Conley. From deep. Caldwell Pope pulls it in. Caldwell Pope's got four rebounds now. Murray for three. Oh, my goodness! He'll go to the line with a chance at a four-point play. It goes on Mike Conley.
Minnesota Timberwolves. They trail by nine. Outside McDaniels. Pass to Reed. Outside Conley. And Contavious Caldwell Pope picks up the foul. That'll be a second foul of the game. It's time to take a glance again at that superb block. Oh my, oh my. And that was textbook defense. Positioning himself well to send it back. Here's Reed. Here's McDaniels. Oh, and he nails it from the high post. Oh, what great action we've seen tonight. Hard to imagine a more entertaining game. No, this is about as high octane a game as you're going to find. Caldwell Pope, the pass to Murray. A chance to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. The Timberwolves have gotten 7 of 12 shots to drop in this fourth quarter. Edwards against Caldwell Pope. Edwards can't hit. Denver has gone 2 of 4 from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. Caldwell Pope finds Gordon. Can't hit that one. McDaniels with some nice D. The Timberwolves trail. Outside Edwards. Pass to Conley. Clock at 6. Outside McDaniels. Over Gordon. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Porter's got his fourth rebound in this one. Now Murray. Jokic with it. And the officials will call the illegal screen here. You can get away with one once in a while. But it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. Yeah, a quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention. Foul call. Outside Conley. It's Edwards on the wing. Takes the 12 footer and hits it. Edwards got 18 points now here in the second half. Oh man, they have really heated up from mid range. Jokic the screen. And again, Denver no good. For Minnesota, they've gotten 8 of 15 during the fourth quarter. against Murray. Pass to Conley. And here's Edwards. The three. That one's good. And it's Conley who picks up the assist. Conley's got his ninth assist of the game now. Now a timeout called by Denver. And the other team is running all over them right now. The timeout before the timeout here. Maybe just to cut off the momentum and have a chit-chat with the team to settle down. It's the Nuggets with the ball. Out to Gordon. They still need this. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Outside Conley. And they double up Edwards. Pass to Gobert. Six to shoot. Three to screen on Murray. From deep, Conley. Gordon pulls it in. Gordon's got his fifth rebound in this one. Well, he got off to a terrific start from the perimeter, but in the second half, he can't seem to build on that early success. Gobert against Murray. Here's Jokic. Here's Caldwell Pope. And it's off from three-point range. Minnesota's got two of five threes to go here in the fourth. McDaniels passes to Reed. He's covered by Caldwell Pope. 
And they double up Edwards. Back to Conway. Outside McDaniels. To take the lead. Jokic grabs the board. And so it's Jokic who brings up the ball for Denver. Two-point game. And Jade McDaniels picks up the foul. That's his first foul. A minute 15 left in the fourth quarter. Pass to Jokic. Outside, Caldwell Pope. That falls. Nice speed from Jokic. Jokic has got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. The Timberwolves shooting 52% for the floor so far. Edwards against Caldwell Pope. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. that the coaching staff and the teammates love to see at the line in a tight ball game. You can pretty much bank on these. Murray against Conley. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Outside Murray. The three is up. And another three for Denver. Yeah, this game is not over when Jamal Murray is still able to play. Reed passes to Conway. Inside is Edwards. He connects. What a beautiful shot. Brings him within three. Wow. Edwards almost makes it look effortless. Like the whole team wasn't holding their breath right there. And well, Jokic needed it, and he got it. Timeout call. The Timberwolves. They're trailing by five. There's 49 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Pope against Edwards. Pass to Conley. Now here's McDaniels. Here's Reed. Back to Daniels. Five to shoot. Here's Edwards. Rebound by the Nuggets. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. And he commits the intentional foul. Six. And when healthy, Porter Jr. is such a massive contributor, especially on the offensive end. So he gets them both, and it's a seven-point game. And the lead getting safer and safer as these free throws from the stripe go in. And Minnesota calls time here. They're trailing by seven. 26 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Six seconds left in the fourth. Here's Conley. Cash. Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. Captain Clutch. One of Conley's many monikers. Oh. Appropriate here. Just wow. And that's an intentional foul. 
Yeah, and there's no question they have to foul. Now, I'm sure they would have preferred to avoid it. First free throw is good. And that increases the lead to six. And he cannot convert on the second. That misses. And so it's Edwards who brings up the ball for Minnesota. Here's the three. Oh, gets the three to fall. Well, Conley can be a volume scorer from the arc. The defense can't let him just have those opportunities. And they're going to prolong the game with an intentional foul. Getting a little desperate at this stage. I mean, the clock's the big foul. He gets the first, and that gives him a four-point cushion. Breathe easy now. The biggest free throws in the game, and he's coming through. Pass to Gobert. Reed for three. And the Timberwolves hit again from deep. A nice dish by Gobert. With his height, he can see over the whole defense. And they stop the clock as soon as they can with the intentional foul. three-point lead and this team feels comfortable with Murray at the line especially when the game is up for grabs and so he drops them both and it's a four-point ball game so it's the Nuggets taking the W in a close one they played the villain tonight and they played it well <laughs> yes they did and you know you have two choices you can either succumb to the hostility in this arena, or you can feed off of it and use it as motivation. They did the latter. And that'll do it, folks. For Brent Barry, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching this 2K Sports presentation of the NBA. As we present our New Balance player of the game, Nikola Jokic.